The Red Room Toshi's entire high school had been uneasy for the past month. The string of student suicides throughout the area had set everyone on edge. Though the police hadn't been able to rule in any sort of foul play, it was suspicious and utterly terrifying to say the least. People around campus had started saying that the suicides were directly linked to a cursed pop-up that would appear whenever anyone would look into the incidents online. Toshi had always been heavily skeptical of these sorts of things, and the rumors fascinated him. So that evening, he decided that he would try to find anything he could regarding this cursed pop-up. He sat at his computer for hours, searching for anything even remotely related. However, he couldn't find anything. It was just when he was about to give up and shut his computer down for the night when it happened. A small red pop-up jumped on his screen. Through the speakers, he heard a soft, childlike voice ask, Anata wa suki desu ka? Or the incomplete question, Do you like? This startled him, so he tried to exit out of it. However, it just reopened. He tried again, and it popped up once more. He began to get frustrated, so he started rapidly clicking the X button. That's when he noticed it. The text on the screen was changing. Each time he clicked to close the ad, the words would expand a tiny bit more revealing something hidden in between. He continued clicking, slowly watching the full sentence unravel in front of him. He felt the room grow cold as the pop-up opened one last time, now completing the sentence. Do you like the red room? His screen was soon flooded bright red, and a list of names ran through it. To his horror, he recognized the names as the students who had committed suicide earlier that month. His eyes scanned quickly down the list, his pulse quickening all the while. Suddenly, he released a gasp as his eyes fell upon his best friend's name at the end of the list. Just then, Toshi's arms became covered in goosebumps. Frozen in place, he felt cold breath on the back of his neck. The next day, the campus was a buzz. The students were all chattering about the latest events in the string of suicides. Apparently, Police had found the body of that Toshi kid and his best friend in their bedrooms. Their wrists had been slashed, and they had painted all their walls red with their own blood. The Breakdown This urban legend became wildly popular across Japan quite recently. This is due solely to the tragedy of the 2004 Sasebo slashing. To the shock and horror of the country, 12-year-old Satomi Mitarai was found murdered with her neck slashed open. The truly terrifying part is that the assailant was her classmate, 12-year-old. We'll call her Nevaratan. Apparently, she decided to murder Satomi because she had made some negative comments about her via the internet. She had lured Satomi out into the hallway of her school, where she proceeded to slash her throat with a utility knife, before calmly walking back into her classroom covered in blood. Now as horrifying and tragic as this may be, I'm sure you're all wondering what exactly this has to do with the legend of the Red Room. Well, here is where things really start to get weird. 
Upon investigating Nevaratan's computer, police discovered one particular link in her bookmarks. Upon clicking the link, they were brought to a flash animation of the red room. So, what do you think? Eerie coincidence? Or perhaps there really is something dark and malicious in correlation with the red room. Either way, this is a curse I never want to be misfortunate enough to encounter. Anatta wa suki desu ka?